Hey guys, how's it going? So this is a video on my top 5 penny stocks to watch for March 20... Sorry, part... Sorry, sorry not March 20, part 13. <laughs> um, and I told you guys that Aurora would be on that list and uh, today Aurora will be on that list. I, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but I did told you so. I told you that it would happen. I, I told you that I truly believe Aurora would go under a dollar. And today it had, no, this video is Aurora is under a dollar. Will it pop out a dollar? I have no idea. I, I don't think it will, but, you know, at the end of the day, stocks are worth as much as people are willing to invest. So, if a bunch of rich people decided to pump Aurora stock, or short sellers decided to cover Aurora stock and make it skyrocket to a dollar, then most definitely Aurora will go to a dollar. That's what I believe. But, yeah. Anyways, I always like to go over my top 5 stocks uh, that, uh, you know, that I reviewed last week. And last week I did say I was kind of bearish on all these stocks. At least I think so. So I'm going to go over the five stocks that I was bearish on. Okay, on bearish on. So the first one is a uh, high blockchain technology. One, two, three, four, five. No, the first one is Largo. Logo, one dollar. Actually, I thought one dollar was a resistance point, but it broke it, and now it's below a dollar, and now it's sitting at sixty-seven cents. So yeah, I was kind, of, I was completely wrong on this one, but I did. I don't have a position. I sold out. I, uh, I saw it crack a dollar, and I was like, okay, I'm out of this. So I, I sold out. And now it's at 67 cents. Is it a buying opportunity? Well, it did go all the way down to 62 cents. I don't think this is the bottom. I think that it could continue to move down if the market continues to crash. But it also, Valadium also is a big indicator too. If Valadium suddenly skyrocketed one day because the demand of Valadium goes up dramatically, then Largo could skyrocket any day. But, well, that's, you know, that's a possibility. I don't I don't think it'll happen, but that's definitely a possibility. Uh second stock I was talking about was Hive Block Chain Technology. And I was actually bearish on this. I thought that Bitcoin was gonna go down. Uh it was at 36 cents. Hive's at 19 cents. Uh I would say you know moving forward definitely a trading stock if it goes back to maybe 14 cents or 15 cents Def, uh, definitely a good swing trade play because Bitcoin's not going away and Bitcoin's going to be volatile and if Bitcoin's volatile, high blockchain technology will be volatile with Bitcoin. Third stock I talk about was Consortium. I was a little, wait, was it, no, it was slang. It was slang. Slang, 32 cents, and what happened? Slang is at 16 cents right now. Is it a buying opportunity? I don't know. The lower it goes, the better it is. I mean, I don't have any shares personally, but I may pick up some, you know, just for a swing trade because it's very volatile. It's not like it, it'll stay at 16 cents. It could go lower. It could go down to 10 cents. I'm not going to deny that, but at the same time, you know, slang does have some kind of value and they expect to be profitable eventually. And at $46.86 million, I mean, I think it's the value is good because I don't know. I, I think slang could pop really big and it could be a good swing trade. But again, that's my opinion, not advice, not financial advice to anyone. Third stock was... Consortium, 30 cents, I just, I'm so wrong on this one, I thought Consortium was, oh, it was a deal at 30 cents, but it wasn't, and now it's at 8.5 cents, now I think it's a deal, I just actually, I actually bought some, I actually sold out of my Consortium at 25 cents at a loss, because I, fe I felt that it was going to go down more, and because the market was crashing, 
And now it's at 8.5 cents, and I just picked up a bunch of shares at 9 cents. Uh, could it keep going down? Sure, it could keep going down, but you gotta remember, Consortium is like the fourth biggest player in Florida when it comes to MJ products. So, I mean, they have to have some kind of value. Uh, so I think uh, Consortium is extremely undervalued at 8.5 cents, my opinion only. Maybe they're secretly going bankrupt and we don't know about it. I have no idea, but the lower it goes, the higher the risk, I mean the higher the reward, uh, the risk is yes, it could go bankrupt, definitely do your research on it, but I think it could be a good swing trade play, especially at 8.5 cents. It could go down to five cents, absolutely. I don't know at the end of the day what's going to do, but you need U.S. dollars to buy this. Um, I bought some. I, I bought some at nine cents. So I mean, I'm hoping it bounces. I don't know if it will, but yeah, I'm optimistic. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think I talked about bit. I don't have this one up. Bit CF. So yeah, nine cents. Uh, I talked about it. It was eleven cents. It was the. It was kind of. It was kind of moving volatile. I mean. Is it a buying up? I don't have any position on this. I just put it in for the hell of it. But uh, Bitcoin did kind of crash, so it kind of crashed with it. But um, if you are bullish on Bitcoin, this thing could move up. I have no idea. This is a shell company, I think. I have no idea what this company does. But I just added on, and is it a buying opportunity? I have no idea. But it could go lower. It could go up. I have no idea. Then the day, uh, but. I'm just bringing it up because I t I talked about it last time, and now on to my one two three four five. I don't know why I had a strays here, but I did. So anyway, it's a strays at nineteen cents. Uh, the stock did go all the way down to twelve cents at one point. Uh, if you bought it at twelve cents, you could have did a sixty six point six seven percent return on investment easily because it was a literally a super penny stock but uh moving forward i don't know what's gonna do i just think that if it ever goes back to 12 cents it would be a good opportunity definitely a stock to watch because you can easily make some pretty money off of it i think it's gonna pull back to around you know not close to 12 cents again especially if the market continues to crash i could be wrong this is speculation on my part and uh, second stock, uh, the one that I told you so, is Aurora. I, I think Aurora is going down further. I really do. I think, you know, it was at 60 cents. There's a possibility he can go back to 60 cents or even lower. That's what I think personally. I could totally be wrong. Not a financial advice. It could also skyrocket and move all the way up. At the end of the day, Stocks are worth as much as short sellers and rich people are willing to pump into the market or cover it rather. So, um, could it keep going up? It could. I'm on the bearish side because the market is crashing. So, I think Aurora is, uh, uh, I think Aurora is, uh, going to move down further. But again, that's my opinion. Uh, second, third stock is. Fire and flower, fire and flower. Uh, it's at forty cents. Um, well, I uh, you know, it was at dollar not too long ago, and now it's at forty cents. Uh, you could easily double your money if it even goes back to eighty cents. Will it go back to eighty cents? I have no idea. I think fire and flower is a safe company uh, to invest into because, or you know, all to swing trade simply because. Uh, Fire and Flower is has a partner, Kutard, Couch or whatever. Uh, so you know, I I find that because of that, I think it's safe. But that's just my opinion, not advice to anyone. 
Uh, Vero Health is my fourth stock. Vero, uh, no, it's kind of at the bottom. I mean, it went all the way down to 31 cents. Could it go back to 31 cents? Absolutely. Definitely a stock to watch. Um, it popped 50% in a short amount of time. I think it's going to pull back a little bit. It could break the 30 cents barrier, but the lower it goes, the more attractive it becomes. Metallo Technologies Group. Uh, this is near the bottom. I mean, it went all the way down to 14 cents. Um, I, I think it's going to pull back a little bit, but that pullback could be an opportunity for a swing trade. Just my opinion. And I'll, and there's also a chance that, you know, some big news could come out and it could skyrocket all the way up to a dollar. Uh, I think that's a possibility. We'll see what happens moving forward. And then last stock I want to bring up, this is not part of my five, but you know, you see how this stock is manipulated, oil crashed all the way down to $20, yet near the end of the day, huge spike of volume, all the way, pushing the stock all the way down to, up to $0.98. Cents. Why do you think they did near the end of the day? I think it's because they are trying to get people who are swing traders to not pull out in time. So I think that when Monday, when it opens, I think the stock's going to crash back down. But ultimately, I think that the stock's trying to get out of that dollar range so it doesn't get delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. My opinion only. We'll see what happens. This is pure manipulation by rich people. They want to push this stock out of the dollar range so it doesn't get delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.